Uh, I welcome you to our Sunday, our family Sunday. Muki waka bosi a uro isimiti amasone pa ebi. Shall we rise up to pray together? Ndeka di dela ti gbadura apapo. Mi ma mi ma. Holy holy holy. Holy God you Lord. Most glorious God. Gogo aye. Oh art. Kufun ogo re. It's filled with your glory. Mi ma mi ma. Holy holy holy. Holy God you Lord. Most glorious God. Gogo aye. Oh art. Kufun ogo re. It's filled with your glory. Our Father and our God, we thank Lord because of this privilege that welcomes us to our hours of family life. No matter how each and each of us are involved in one family or the others. Either young or young. Oh, Grandma or children. Lord, we thank Lord because of this privilege given unto us to understand our responsibility and where our focus should be. I commit every area of this world into your hand. At the end of this message, uh, you will you will bless us mightily well in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. And the spirit of this message will refocus our attention unto you, our King and our Lord. And every forces of the enemy, I don't know to sidetrack your purpose and plan for our life. We rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your name be glorified. At the end of our life, we will make it to heaven in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Shall we be seated, please? And this day by the grace of god i want to share with us briefly the message from the lord that is the dangers of egyptians help either seeking for egyptian help but the danger in uh, egyptians help and by the grace of God, our God has planned for us our helps in times of need. He never fails no floaters. Is our God like that? Then why should we now focus our attention in seeking help from Him and the Lord of hosts alone? Why? Are you to tell us something? That before you can know the value of something, you know the dangers in the opposite. What is the what is the danger in seeking help outside God's will? That is what I want to share with us in this place. And open your Bible to the book of Isaiah 31. Isaiah 31. Now, in fact, in chapter 30 of Isaiah first one, Bible was talking to, began to talk about the rebellious children. Then he keep on bringing wool onto them. He said, if you look, if you look at Isaiah chapter thirty, verse one, he said, "Woe to the rebellious children! See the Lord that take, that take not the counsel, not of men." Look at verse 1 of Isaiah chapter 30 again. Go to the rebellious children, say the Lord, that take counsel, but 
not of men, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may have sin to sin. Hmm. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Ti won lo si Egypt la ise fun mi. Ti o wa ran lowo lodo Pharaoh fun abo. Si ojiji Egypt fun ibi sadi. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Sugba abo Pharaoh yo ja si itijo fun yin. Ojiji Egypt yo mu abuku ba yin. The first thing there to uh, to take note of is God knows that we need a covering. He know we need a cancel. Then he knew that we need to hand to hear from his mouth. We is establishing some things there. Our cancel supposed to be from the Lord. Our conflict supposed to be from the Lord. Our, 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 our instruction must come from the mouth of the Lord. Once we establish this three facts, the Lord now said, anybody who, who had not from the Lord's mouth is rebellious. Whoever take a counsel not from the Lord is a rebellious house. Whosoever take a strength from Pharaoh, that is the king of Egypt, is a rebellious house. Bible now says all those attributes you get from Pharaoh will now resort to shame. Now that is why he continued in chapter 31 again. Verse 1 again. Verse 1. Woe to them that go down. You see, going down. Go down, not go up. Go down. To eat for air and stay on horses and trust in chariot because they are many and in house horsemen because they are very strong but they look not into the holy one of Israel neither seek the Lord. <laughs> Egbe ni fun awon to sokale lo si Egypt fun ran lowo ti won gba ke le esin ti won fi igbe ke le won si opolopo ke ke esin won ati agbara nla awon elesin won sugbon ti won ko boju we ni mimo Israel ni tabi ki won wa ran lowo lodo oluwa some people have not even maybe gone down to to to, to say the fact awon ko ti e ti sokale lati lo so otito they sought the cancel alone but these people now, the Bible said they go, they now travel down, they go down. He now said, Woe unto them. I don't, I mean, you don't want your family to head in confusion. I believe that. You don't want your family to become a rebellious house. I believe that. Then, you know, as a child, you live in a house. As a wife, you are married to a man. You are a man again. You are married to a wife. Or you are even, you are even a young, you are a spinster. So you are preparing yourself to get married. You are a spinster. Nobody will pray for confusion. Nobody wants to become a rebellious, you want to set up a rebellious house. In his life. The spirit of God is earnestly warning us against that. And then that we should deceive from such attribute or such act. If your wish and the plan of God for your life comes together now. 
You don't want to be rebellious. You don't want to end your life in confusion. The same thing, God did not want you to do that. You know, Babylon says that that they did not seek help from me. If you don't seek help from the Lord, it means the, you know the alternative is you are seeking help from the Egypt. Now, I, I, in, in my book, in the book I wrote one time, that is the marriage procedure. God made us to know in that book that our marriage starts from age six. That is the time you begin to account for yourself or you know right from right from wrong. You began to set up families. You don't begin to build house the time you now begin to live inside it. No, you must have the dreams of the kind of house you want to you want to build. I remember in those days when we are going to school as young stars. We look at beautiful houses around. We look at beautiful crackers around. People on their way to the farm. We now begin to take that car one by one. That is passing by. This is one is my own. You have taken your own. This is my turn now to take my own. They are just passing by cars. They are just a house built by somebody else. You always look at them. The same thing applicable to children as well. The kind of background they come from matters a lot. That is why we need God intervention at every stage of our life. That we did not seek counsel from each bit. Or understand the kind of a setting of a family that comes off from Egyptians. Who are the Egyptians? You have to recognize whom the Egyptians are. Or why is it so? Uh, uh, partic- why that God is so particular about not going down to Igbe to go and seek help or cancel? Because it's very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. It can end in confusions. Number two, it can end in making us a rebellious house. By the, let me, let, let me ascertain this now onto every individual now. God have a plan for you. God has a plan for your life. No matter where you have come from or the kind of family you set up, no how beautiful or how woeful it is, God still has a, a personal plan for your life. He wants to set up a glorious family for you. Don't think again about your kind of family you come from. Just look ahead to what kind of family God planned for your life. Don't think about how beautiful your own family, the family you come from are. You cannot, there's no way, no matter how beautiful your family is, no matter how woeful your family is, come what may, the plan of God for your life is still for yourself. He said that you walk towards that plan, or you work against it. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not work against the, fam- the, the, the plan of God for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In every family setup, we always have, uh, well, what I call a setting. A setting. What is set? Or preset. Then you know in the Bible. Let's open a Bible to the book of Psalms. It's a common uh, Bible passage that we love so much. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. That is set. You have to set it. You can, if you can see what happens to David, you know how his life was. But this kind of prayers or this kind of setting up helped him a lot. I believe it helps him a lot. The Bible says in verse in chapter 120, Psalm 121, 
Verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the east from whence cometh my help. I will lift up my eyes unto the east from whence cometh my help. That is the mountain, the hills of the Lord. You know, I told you the other time, going down to Egypt, the opposite of going down is going home. Then you have to set your highs up. When you set your highs up, you said from verse 2, my help comes from where? From the Lord, not from Egypt. Which made heaven on her. I think you will say that. My help comment from the Lord. Which make heaven on her. He will not suffer thy food to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He will not slumber. Behold. He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Your father may slumber, your, your uncle, your relatives, anything, any head or head may slumber. God never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. Say oh, amen to that. Amen. The Lord is thy keeper. Say bigger amen in the name of Jesus. The, the Lord is thy seed upon thy right hand. You, you know, he talked about conflict the other time. He said they are covered themselves with the strength of, of, of the Egyptians. But we have better covenant. If we have better shade upon the right hand of the Lord. As the Bible scholar now, if I ask you now, is that the right hand of the Lord now? When we now refer to the right hand of God, we are talking about the strength and the power of Jesus Christ. The Hebrew Help in times of need. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Your day is your early age of life. From age six to the time you got married and begin to bear children. These are the days. He now he promised us that sun will not smite us. By day, only the harshness of sun will never touch you, nor the moon by night. That is how God has protected our life completely. Don't think I don't have any other help. God promised to help you during the day and during the night, even at the dark hours of, of, of the day. The Lord shall preserve thee. How many evils? All evils. When you remove all from all, it becomes serious. When you, when you fix your heart, you set your heart, your desire, your plan, your program, your project to the Lord. It means to say, you are covered all round about. It shall preserve thy soul. Man. Not just physically alone now. He will preserve your soul. English, let us read, let us read the one aloud now. Read along with me, please. Verse 8. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. And thy coming in mm. from this time mm. forth, not from the background, from this time forth, and even forevermore. Amen. Amen. 
when you understand that God has made the provision for all times hell. And it's determined to do that and God never fails, especially in his word. Whatever he pronounced is able to fulfill. And that is why God never leaves a space or a window by which you can begin to sort or, 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 or to, to seek the help of Egyptians. Didn't What is Egyptians' help now? Is it the help, the physical help? The experience Help. They help from maybe financial things like that in an erroneous way. In an erroneous way, or the, the, what is contrary to the will of God. You know, like the, in, 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 the book, in the book of Number, chapter 12, because of our time, 1 and 2. You know, Moses got married to an Ethiopian woman. When Aaron now called Miriam, they need help. They are confused as they got the type of woman Moses married. Then they could have gone to Moses or asked God what is happening to Moses. Or if they could have gone to Moses himself, where they, are, they could get right there. Do you know what happens? They now consulted themselves. You you are confused, I'm confused. They set up a meeting between two confused personnel, set meeting together. When you seek help from two con con confused parties, then, then you, are, you become a rebellious heart. What? God set up for the Israelite. Then they saw that Moses have gone against it. Then instead of going to Moses, they never go to Moses. They, they went, they did not begin to consult each other. They're confused. Somebody has got married, for example. He has sent the first wife away and is not looking forward to marry the second one now. You never know he may be a pastor. You never know why. You never go to him or her. Why did you do this? But instead of doing that, you want to get married now. That is the person you now go to. Who never stay with one woman? Do it your, your uncle. But he's a, funny, he's a fornicator. He never paid the diary of his wife. Do it your mother. He, 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 he never wait for bride ride before he even jumped to the father of your father. That is the person that you now gave name to to go and be asking the pastor for you. By the time he want to try to do that as well, he now go to a confused pastor. And then you know confusion now plus confusion. Miriam and Aaron. The Bible says by the time they were consulting each other, God heard from heaven. God heard from heaven. The same thing happened also in the act of apostles. Chapter 5. To Anania and Sapphira. Rebellious, uh, uh, rebellious set. The Egyptians, rebellious people. How are they condemned? Was it the court they sold their house or, or their land to give to, to the Lord? No, I told you on Tuesday that Joseph squished his son named Barnaba. Sold his own belongings out of her forefathers for 46. He gave to the, to, to the Lord everything. Then you know Ananias and Zavira. They love what he did. 
Joseph Obanaba did. You see what happens now? They said, they talk to each other. How do we do that? Maybe somebody said, oh, don't let us do like Joseph did. But let us present it as if we did it like that, like uh, like Ace. That is that is seeking help from the from the Egyptians. They consulted each other. Enemy of progress. When you go to the enemy of progress to seek help, it will always lead to such a terrible hand. Confusion. Whoa. Doom. That is what seeking help from Egypt can cost somebody. The Bible says that in Acts chapter 9, 9 and 10. 5, 9 and 10. 5, 9 and 10. Peter said, Why did you agree within yourself? Such agreement is leading to confusion. You see, look at the, the, the feet of somebody who, 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 who went and buried your husband. The same perdition, the same problem, the same confusion. And that is what the seeking help from Egyptians really means. We have a basic fact. You know, we are pilgrims. We are journeying from, we are just, you're supposed to journey from, from, from Egypt to Canaan. Journey from your dark moment to your place of life. Then you have an, you have an uncompromised target. Uncompromised target. You need you need a sweet home. You need a settled home. A joyous and a joyful home. That is an uncompromised target. Then there's a quite wide gap between Canaan and Egypt. Very wide. You don't breach your contract. Oh, le map. Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. That we are bought with a price. 1 Corinthians 6, 20. We are bought with a price. We have been bought. Somebody will have been bought with a price. You cannot be acting like a slave again. You are no more other Egyptian control, Egyptian lord, which is fading. You are no more there again. You have changed the lordship of your life. There is supposed to be a wide gap now. From your former for my unbelieving friends. Or what kind of faith do they believe? They believe in just go there and shoot somebody, take that name to the prophet or the prophet and things like that. Like, like just like 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 so did. And he consulted the familiar spirit. The Bible says that you know I said there's a white gap between you and Egyptian. If you, are, if you want to journey to Canaan, no, Saul did not know this. Saul did not practice this. Or he closed his eyes against that. Or he was backslidden. Or he has backslidden. Then you know when he wanted to, he wanted help. The Bible says he saw the 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 the, 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 the Philistine war, uh, warriors. And he need to fight them. He need to conquer them. The Bible says that after praying for a little bit time, it was God was expecting him to repent of his sin and come back to him. But he stayed outside God's purpose. And he was praying outside. He was going to the mountain outside God's purpose. He was fasting after outside God's purpose. He didn't want to repent of his sin outside God's purpose. Then he wanted to pray to God and God to answer. If you are a sinner and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, you can only be eating the crumbs of, mm. of, of God's food. 
family. No man, you don't have fire. You can ask for direction from God and He answer you. Oh, let me be. Ah, it's all the Lord alone who can answer. You can only be saying, "Oh God, I want to wake up tomorrow. Please, God, protect me. I want to travel." And that is all. All that is all general benefit. Oh, let go, go, go. Nigga, Lord, let us be on your team. Right, take good things. Be on the move. Follow your God. Let's go. If you don't go to attend to your cry, you have to go long born. In terms of marriage, you have to become a child of God. Nobody wants to marry a sinner. Nobody wants to marry a drunkard. Nobody wants to marry a backslider. Nobody wants to marry someone who is so serious. Nobody wants to marry that. So if you are a backslider, if you are not serious with your God, and you are saying God provide a good husband for me, there is no good husband outside God's will. The Bible says I will provide um, enhancements for you. Before you talk about family causes, family problems, and if you disconnect yourself from that family by giving your life to Jesus and be born again, if not, you will be praying like Saul. The Bible says he was praying and he did not hear from God. And Philistines were approaching. The war of Seriso, Philistines were approaching. When they come night, when they come night, when they come closer, he was afraid. Was afraid. He said, Where can I get help? He looked for familiar, familiar spirit. You know, in previous verses, the Bible says that he has driven them out of his life. That familiar people you have driven out of your life, see yourself now. You have now begun to look for them on the Facebook. You now begin to look for them on the social media. You want to connect with them again. Again. It's very dangerous for your life. Very, very dangerous for your life. You don't go down to Igbi for help. So I did the same thing. So you can go and look for the familiar spirit for me. They they knew someone from Edom. Yep. Take me there. He went down to Edom for familiar spirit. And you know a hard problem to his to his problem. He had that problem to his, to his problem. If you want to read that story, you go to First Samuel chapter twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. First Samuel twenty-eight. From verse 5. And at the end of it all, like I told you the other time, it led to confusion. To, it led to, Yopa, to, to Yopadi. Thank God you are here today. Thank God you are hearing me now. How old are you? What stage is your life? Is your marriage facing a challenge? What do you do? You become a child of God yourself. Don't say, well, my husband is supposed to be a Christian. Very good wish indeed. But you have to become a child of God yourself. When you become a child of God, it is then you can now bring every situation under control. It is then God cannot intervene as regards your matter. You want your wife to be to, 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 to be alright. Wonderful. But you have to become a child of God first. You want your parent to be, you want your home to be settled. Maybe you look at uh, some, some families and you are regretting why can't I be giving back with the kind of parent that my family will be like this. Very good wish indeed. What you can do is just make sure you are a child of God first. When you become a child of God, you can now talk to God that God, I'm not your child. I don't want my family to be like my father and my mother that's out. Do you, are you afraid that maybe your family, your, your, your children also will follow patterns with the way your life is? You become a child of God first. It is not time for you now to be take, bringing names to the pastor and to the prophetess and prophet. No. It's a time for you to become a child of God. When you become a child of God, then you can now you can now tailor your children in the pattern of the of holiness. It's a unfortunate thing that people 
does this day. Whenever they want to pray as regard marriage will, maybe they want to pray as, as, as regard a brother or sister, and they want to seek help, and they now go to that prophet or that pastor, and the pastor priest pray for me, is this one good for me in marriage? They will never say, pray for me, Am I good for money for this person? The prayer starts from you. Not from the third party. You pray for yourself first. Am I a good wife material? The way I get angry at will. The way I keep malice. And you see, if somebody offended me, before I can forgive that person, oh, it will take a long time. You have to deal with that person, that thing first. If you don't deal with yourself and be comforted and you do away with malice, you deal away with anger, you deal away with fighting, they keep on complaining as you got something in your life. Your parents keep on talking about it. Instead of de dealing with that attribute or that character, that attitude, you did not walk towards oh, that. You keep on you let yourself lose. And the devil is playing and toiling with your life. And you're looking forward for a good marriage. It it doesn't, work work that, that, that. doesn't work that way. You have to be converted and become a child of God. Because marrying to Egyptians or getting help in time of marriage from Egyptians, very dangerous and little war. What do you think you have to do now? But the grace of God, I've told you the first one, you give your life to Jesus. The Bible says, except you repent, you will on also likewise perish. The same way. If you don't, if only Christ make the bridge. That is the only way. And if you have given your life to Jesus, you have to continuously, fo uh, continuously follow him. You have to continue following him. Keep the identity. Pray unto God alone. Trust in God alone. Don't hurt Egyptian knowledge. Go and tear us. Don't hide the Egyptian. Don't hide the Egyptian knowledge. The Egyptians people when they want to get married, they know how they do it. They can take three names, four names, five names, and be looking at maybe two, two, three brothers in the fellowship and things like that. If this one did not get me, if I didn't get this one, I must surely get this one. And they begin to walk around that brother, that sister. They begin to play maybe a fear game with him or with her. And they keep on walking. That is the Egyptian's way. When you begin to pattern your way like that, it hangs to woe. So please, I admonish you. Give your life to Jesus. As Paul will say, say it. In Romans chapter 12, he said, renew in touch of your heart. Let your heart be comforted too. Before you give your life to Jesus, you believe this. There's a kind of way you think. You always want an issue to be solved from the third party. You will not see yourself as part of the solution. Now that you are now a child of God now, be renew in the thought of your heart. Believe the solution will come from you. Stop saying that they have to be like this, they have to be like that. Start from your own end. The wife I want to marry is supposed to be like this. The husband I want to marry has to be like this. The confession has to start from you. Then, number, like I said, number one, give your life to Jesus. Number two, renew the thought of your heart. Then, number three, make sure you are consistently following the lost pattern. Don't be so impatient. Lack of patience always ends in woe, too. Then, number four, don't ever ever take counsel from the unbelievers. 
I like Gbagbo. Don't say because they are church planters. Ah, most of them they are church. Or because they speak in tongues. Eh, man, fair day for. Or because they are like they say they are dead, full of activities. Have you told me when one shall learn, one perform in sham, we shall learn. Don't say, don't say that. Must have been. Make sure you take yourself from the children of God. Don't say they are all children of God. Must have been. 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 Must have that's number five. You have to carry over. You have, you have to drop every belongings of each bit to, to each bit. When you are backslid, when you are backslided, or when you are not a Christian, you are somebody you are marrying, so to say, or you are somebody in Koshi Wee, drop that first person first. Miss Multitude always leads to confusion. Though you don't come out and say you want to marry each other, but you keep on keeping that relationship. You have to flush out all those ideas. The Egyptians and Egypt and its property. And you drop them at bay. That begin to kneel live a new life. The Bible says, anyone in Christ is a new creation. All things passed away. Behold, all things becomes new. Everything has to become new. Go and throw that idea off. Start your life afresh. If you make me multitude. They will never get agreement with the plan of God. Just like the children of Israel. You know, God gave them, maybe they, 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 they need food, God gave them manna. And now, what, they begin to eat manna now. The Bible says at what point that the, the mixed multitude told them that is it all, this, this manna we are going to be eating? We need meat. In fact, the noise was so much that get even Moses confused. By the time even God said, I want to provide meat for them. For the first time in the history of Moses, Moses' journey with God. He began to doubt God. That God, how will you give them meat? Will you go to the sea and kill all the fishes of the sea and give to them? And the God said, No, Moses, you, I, I know you are not like, like this before. What happened to you? Miss Multitude is very dangerous. For your life, it can make you to doubt God. It can make you to be confronting God revelation. It can, it can manipulate your future and your, and your present time. Then, number five, don't be impatient. Patient matters a lot. Then, don't allow fear to grip your heart. Like in the book of Nehemiah, before I pray, I will love to read that place. Fear is always a problem. Very, very terrible indeed. If somebody is not really courageous, it can cause a problem. You know Nehemiah. They, they have tried every possible means. They have they have said, oh, your, the one you are building is very terrible and things like that. They, con they condemn his work. They condemn his goal. They discourage his pattern of life. Everything. The last enemy they use, they try to use, was fear. Look at number, I mean, Nehemiah chapter 6. From verse 10. And not after what? Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 10. After what I came unto the house of Shemiah, the son of De Daniel, the son of Metabele, who was shut up, and he said, Let us meet together in the house of God within the temple, and let us shut the doors of the temple, for they will come to slay thee. That is fair. They want to instill fear. In the night, will they come to slay thee? 
omo mete mehe tabeli eni ti aha ma sinu ile re o wi pe je ki a pade ni ile olorun ninu temple ki o si je ki a pa awon ilekun temple de ni tori awon eniyan bo lati pa o ni orun ni won wa lati pa o se na deru bere ne ma ya ko san ti look at your age we not get married on in the show o ya won ti so fun pe e mo ti dagba e le re oko ni church look at the church you attend it there's no 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 lady no woman no sister no brother that can fit your statues bo ya won ti wo so so ton ni sori church ton no ye mo ti e ti wo be dada ko so bi rin to wa nbe to le fe o ko si ri okunrin to le feru re nbe ko so bi rin to le feru re boyan ti fu oni moran odi oh no worry that be like that from generation to generation the house the, our family house can never be settled like those one you are talking to pointing to don't worry just remain there remain in bonding like that ta bi won ti so fun pe se ori bo se ni fun yawa niyan ati baba yawa ati ya yawa so mo wori o eh gun dile ni be se ma ri ni ran ti won lo ni don't worry your children are rebellious they cannot even obey the gospel again they want you to they instill fear don't allow fear to catch you all so pe ma wori o ti e ma mo mo lo jojo o ti e dupa pe won tele lo church bi gbogbo mo si nse sha igbara ni yen to yari to da to da mo gba o ma tele won and i said you have to really courageously speak out like nehemiah o gbono soro akinja de bi nehemiah and i said she such a man as i flee e se iko kan la i nehemiah iwe iwe nehemiah ori kefa sugbon mo wi pe nehemiah lo so on bayo verse 11 e se iko kan la oni nje mo wi pe nje o ya ki iru eniyan bi emi salo where are you fleeing to to the first prophet shoda woli you are not fleeing away salo wa de ba nwo wo woli in the name of jesus oh ni salo do woli e ke lo ko je by the power of god in the name of jesus amen oni rin lo be lo and who is there ta no wa nbe i'm very sorry about that we will take maybe like 10 minutes again because it's a family sunday we have to extend this time now we are dealing with many issues together that is why we are extending it like this and who is there that being as i am will go into the temple to save his life i will not go in the temple of babel the temple of egyptians the temple of pharaoh i will not go the man refused to go sugbon mo wi pe njo yo ki iru eniyan bi emi salo tabi ki eniyan bi emi salo sinu temple lati gba emi ara re la o ni emi ko ni lo emi wo ye pe olorun ko ron wo mi ni lo sodo egypt mi lo sodo woli eke mi lo sodo do imaran awon kan boya awon kawe abi won loruko tori 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 nkan kan mi ni lo sodo won ara the prophet shake his head and said oh i my my son come to my court my mountain you know buy share and buy buy buy, buy this i will preach it for you the person to get married and things like that if your pastor is talking like that i'm not i will not talk like that you know your pastor is too hard it's too harsh he always be strict he always strict and say that i will give you better way don't go don't go tell them i will not flee ตาบิโซรีโอเคโกซาโลซีเอริโอเคโกซังเกโกรีโอเคโกโจรุเปโกวาซิเบฮาวส์โอเทเลโฟนบายเยเรอทีนี้ที่อ่ะโกโกลี
prophecy. Your point to buy may be what you are thinking. To buy it is That is why I ask you to cast out that mind of, of, of fear and be renewed in your mind. You know what Nehemiah did? He earnestly prayed unto God of heaven. He sought, he sought the help of the Almighty God. That is the last one I want to talk about. He refocused his attention to God. He reported the evil thought, evil counsel, evil missile of the enemy. He reported them back to God. He said, My God, think thou upon Tobiah and Sambalad according to their works, and on the prophet Nadiah and the rest of the prophets, all together, all of them together, that will have put me in what? In fear. Hmm. Yes. Every other prophet, prophet, you have to cast their imagination off your life. And then, Bible says, so. The world was finished. He built house. The family was built again. They fin he finished building it very wonderfully well. In the twenty eighth, in the twenty and fifth day of the month, he lived in fifty and two days. Hallelujah. Ese karundogu. Be ani apari odi na osha she yori. Odi ti alaru la ti wa ko o koni a ko yori eru kaka oba woli woli edle taka kamo bakuro ni shato lorono. Then you are not your jock, I don't want to know your jock, the parrier. Oh, sure, Luli, oh, she can't son. Now your jock made you lay out that one she has your and it came to pass that when all enemies had thereof, both the prophet and the prophetess, both Helio and the Ubaya and Subal, every one of them, when they heard that the name the, the, the house was finished, the work was finished, Bible says that and and all the Aden that is Egyptians, that is Pharaoh, the Aden. That were about us saw these things, they were most cast down in their own eyes. In the name of Jesus, Amen. they are going to cast them, God is going to cut them out Amen. by the power of God in the Amen. name of Jesus. In their own eyes, they will cast it that they will cast down in the name of Jesus. Amen. For they perceived they will see the glory of God in your life. The Amen. enemy will see the glory of God in your life. Amen. That this work was wrought of our God. Amen. God Himself take the glory. Oh no, no, go. Yes, ma'am. I say, Karen, Dini, I open the email you receive from. You bet you, I want to have a boy. I want a pharaoh. I want to live. Okay. I want a man. A man. A man. I think she share. Mr. Abu Cancelos. Yeah, yes. But but I want to live. That you, you walk out, my boy. I want to live. That you, you walk out. I want to be. I bolo baja. I bolo baja. I bolo le roko. I bolo man bakiri le. I walk out. I bolo le roko. 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 I but you won't bow. How bad would Jenny Jenny see more? Hm, you told me, Amen, Jenny Jenny, my mua. I don't cast out. But no other lame one, Jenny. Amen. You told me one way, yea. Well, you shall eat this ship by Lou, and a lower long one. God will help you. Amen. I don't know, lower. I told you at the beginning, it will help you. I have interest in helping you too. Once you are a child of God, don't allow fear to be still in your heart. Rise up, I will like to talk to you. Let's pray together. 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 Let's pray Cut you off. This is a deliverance prayer. If you must follow God's pattern, all those little factors have to be dead with. All those fake pronouncements 
of the devil you have to deal with them. Maybe the one that is ministering to you inside your heart that is more to really hate is uh, racist or ugly head. I cut you off. I deal with you. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray a prayer in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Second Amen. prayer. Amen. Jesus name. Fine. How do I get you? Second prayer is this. How do I get you? You talk to God. My father, my God. I can't remain neutral. I connect myself back to you fully. I set my eyes towards you completely. No more diversion. I lift up my eyes. You take Psalm 121. Look at it through. Which one means that to you most? Your home may be the first one. Mine may, may, may be first three. We have good eight verses there. Then you take any one applicable. Begin to reconnect yourself back to God. You can say, my son will not beat me during the day. No moon during the night. I don't know which one we are, is applicable to you. That is your rema now. Take that rema now. Pray Bible out. In the name of Jesus. You have to open your Bible. If you cannot read or write, coordinators, help me to read that verse. What to verse 8? Ask them which one they don't, they don't want to take. The person that is on, they don't know how to read and write. Help me to nurse to their life. That, Mommy, take this one. God will lead you to give them one one. Children, you have to take one at well. That is reconnecting ourselves back to God. You can only do that one through a word. That is the only way. No authority. No, by prophecy, nothing. The prophecy can only confirm this Bible. That is it. Now, do that one now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, 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 Jesus' name. The third prayer is this. Every spirit of fear. <laughs> you spirit of fear. What is causing your fear? It is a wrong prophecy from the, from, from the fake prophecy. Or what you have seen as a shine. Somebody some, saw something like that before. When I was a student coordinator, you know, he saw a very terrible, he keep on seeing terrible family set up. Terrible hatred, antagonist, everything like that. And she, because of that fear. If marriage is always is all about this one. She will not get married. That she get married to Jesus. The same thing happened in one of her mission feet. A young, a young missionary, a, a young missionary, a young pastor said that. A young brother said that. We keep on seeing. We we saw him so so prospective. A, 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 a prospective, very powerful. We now call him that won't you get married? He was afraid. She said, he said, he has given his life as a as a as a living sacrifice unto God. Mommy said. God will not accept that. No, you have to get married. Because we noticed it was fear. Then we pray for him. We put him on a program. Then begin to fast like this. And by, then we keep on praying for her for him. So at the end, and every week we keep on saying, Oh, we are praying for you. Pray for you. Then it never begin to be, be, be that courage. By the time we now left and we came back to Nigeria, we keep on monitoring him. We keep on monitoring him. We keep on monitoring him. 
So by the grace of God, you know what happens? Miraculously, God revealed unto him a very wonderful sister. Very wonderful sister. And by the grace of God, they got married. We have to go out. We, we, when we, came, when we went back there again, they were happily married. So happy. Fear can push somebody out of the will of God. You want to handle fear now. You want to handle fear by the power of the Lord. Get out of my life. I will be consumed by, consume by fire. No, I'm not afraid again. My, my father my God is my refuge. Your God is my refuge. Your God is my refuge. Your God is my refuge. And my father and my God, there's no more threatening again. This my husband can still become a child of God. My home can still be set to. Yet, yet, yet I know I married wrongly because I wasn't exposed to the children of God. You, you the devil that said I will continue like that. I won't continue like that. I will enjoy peace in my house. You need to cast out the demon of fear. And in the name of Jesus, all the work of the first prophet, you to cast them out. Begin to pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, whatever you are doing now, settle, settle this matter with God. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you because of this wonderful time. Despite all Evil thought. With all the battle line and things like that. <laughs> you were able to settle at home and we are happily married. The devil knows that if there is a solid Christian home that God set up by himself. They will procure children that will be after God's mind too. And then, thereby, that thing becomes a shame now. If you now become shames, then I'm a love. You're a little bit of 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 a Generations. And our word will become of the Lord. The devil did not want that. But there's nothing he can do if against it. Lord, if you can uphold our family and give us the grace to keep on giving back to, to glorious children. And I can witness many families as well like that that are set up as well. Even people that are, they did not even get married in the Lord. God was able to confide their family to the Lord. He's able to do that for anybody else. It's some people that have come out of, of, of dangerous, erroneous and devilish home. We have seen them renewing their life and renewing their family, and you set them up, and they, and they have become glorious people today. You are able to do all things. I now command in the name of Jesus. I have this testimony that you are you are a perfect God. You are able to help us in times of need. We need your help desperately now. I release the power of the Lord into every home represented here today. Let the glory of the Lord, anointing of the Lord, descend upon your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus' name. Fire. Amen. 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 Jesus' name. Fire. Nehemiah said, even his enemy, they saw the finished work of God. And they said, His law is God has wrought this. They know it is not their power. It's not the ability of Nehemiah. They know something supernatural has taken place. I pray in the name of Jesus. Your life will be full of testimony Amen. that enemy will see it. And they will confirm that the Lord has fought for you. 
has fight for you at last in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus name. Fire. And you know, you can fall, God. You can fall. 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 Amen. 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 Jesus name. Fire. I command it to your life now. Is there anything that the devil has planted in your family? To be in fear. Even your heart, maybe your age, even what God has, what has become a benefit, the devil can bring it up. No. Stop, stop your education. Ah, if, you, if, if, you are, if you are too much learning, you won't get good husband. And because of that, you stop your education. If you are definitely employed, how many husbands will go and marry you? They will be afraid of you controlling them. Don't start, don't let your business be boom like that. That, that you are progressing is, is a very, very, very good, positive something. But the devil may instill fear. Either negatively or positively. Anything in your life. But the devil has instill fear because of that into your heart. Maybe the kind of family you come from. Somebody said one time. I said, the Lord Minister. Ah, don't stop doing deliverance. That if you keep on doing deliverance. It will affect your family, affect your children. I said it is a lie. It's a lie of the devil. I command it your life by the authority of the law. Any fear of the enemy, any fear of the devil that is being still into your life, into the person's speech, into the person's speech, into the personal feet, I cast them out today in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free. You'll be happily married. Your, your, your family will get deliverance. You'll be set free indeed. The joy of the Lord will fill your heart, your soul, and body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name, fire. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations if you followed the pattern. And I pray God Himself will help you too. Well, any question, please send to us. Tell your children and your, your, your relatives and your friends to subscribe as well to this channel. YouTube. And you can even join our glorious news. And may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. See you again. On Tuesday, 4 o'clock.